丢妹！For you. First off, let's speak and simplify this by solving small parts of the inequality. Let's start with this. Wait, what the hell? I'm playing Quagmire. What? This exclamation point is a factorial. It means that the number is multiplied by all the integers below it until it reaches one. This means that five factorial is five times four times three times two times one, which is 120. Then we subtract five from it, and that gives us 150. I'm playing Quagmire. How is this? 7p3 is red is 7 per mil 3. We thought it is this. Let's say that there are 7 people participating in a race and they are competing for first, second, and third place. We want to know how many different possible combinations there are for the top 3 position. In the beginning, it is possible for all 7 people to come in first place. Now, because someone is already in first place, it is possible for only 6 different people to come in second place. Similarly, there can only be 5 possible people to come in. Since 7 different people can come in first, 6 in second, and 5 in third, that means that the number of different combinations for the first 3 people is 7 times 6 times 5, which gives us 210. We can also use the equation for permutations, which is this, and also gives us the same answer. Next, we move on to this. Wait, what the hell is this? 4C3. Are you kidding me? 4C3, if we choose 3, can be thought of as this. Let's say that there are 4 people, and we need a group of 3 from those 4 people. How many groups of 3 can we choose? We can do this, 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 and this, and there are no other possible groups that can be constructed. So that means that there can only be 4 groups, which is our answer. We can also solve this by using the combinatorix formula, which also gives us the same answer. Next, let's look at this. Look at the power of 13 is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2 a total of 13 times, which is equal to 8192. 8192 times 5.023 is equal to 41148.416, which means that the sum of these is 41150. Next, we can look at the 7 factorial divided by 12 is equal to 5040 divided by 12, which is 420. We can go back and simplify this by evaluating for its value. This would be 210 times 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 420. Lastly, we can simplify this exponent. Since this is the number to the power of 2, then to the power of 2.1, this would be the same as the number to the power of 2 times 2.1, which equals 4.2. Now let's look at what we have now. What you Wait, what is this? Right? What, what is that? The... Let's say, for example, you have 2 to the power of x is 8. Since 2 to the power of 3 is 8, x is equal to 3. However, what if you had something that didn't have x work out to be an integer? We write this out by the log 2 to the power of x equals 8 is the same thing as writing x equals the logarithm of 8 to base 2. Now with this, we need to know one law of log to simplify our inequality. Log x to the base of minus log e to the base is equal to log x divided into the base at. Look at our inequality. We can see that our a value is 420 to the power of 4.2. Means that this entire thing can be simplified to 8,640. 9 minus 2,520 e to the power of 69 over 420 to the power of 69. And then we can put the 69 around the fraction instead of right in the numerator and denominator. This simplifies to 8,640 9 over 420 minus 6 e to the power of 69. Next, we need to know two more laws of log. Log b to the power x to the base is equal to x times log b to the base a. Log b to the base a to the power of x is equal to 1 over x times log b to the base a. There is no which we can take out the 4.2 and 69 to outside of the log. This gives us 6 times 69 over 4.2 times 115 and this simplifies. The one which means that this is equal to log 8640. 9 over 420 minus 6 to the base 420. Now we do the same thing for the other side. And we take out 12,345 and 6.9. This gives us 23 times 12,345 divided by 6.9 times 41,150, which equals 1. Now we have this since both of these sides have the logarithms to the base 420, and the left side is greater than the right. That must mean that the things inside the log on the left side must be greater than the stuff inside the log on the right. And this means that we will get this. Wait, but now what do we do with this repeating decimal? We can subtract this from the fraction. What are you doing? Fractions. fractions. What the heck? I want to get the decimal value of the fraction on the other side by hand. Here is something we can do to get the fractional value of 16.59 and 285714 repeating. We can let x be equal to them. Which means that 100 million times x is equal to this. To 
and 100. X is equal to this. We can now subtract the equations from each other. And we get this, and now x is equal to this, which simplifies to 6,969 over 420. Now we can subtract 6,969 over 420 from both sides. This cancels out the 6,969 over 420 on the right side and the difference, and the left side is equal to 4. We can expand this factor trinomial on the right side, and this gives us this. Since there is a minus 6u on both sides, we cancel them out and this gives us 4 is greater than negative 9. u squared plus 3. Now we can subtract 3 from both sides, which is equal to 1 is greater than negative 9u squared. We can then multiply both sides by negative 1, and since we are doing this, we must change the direction of the sign to the other side. Now we can square root both sides. The square root of 1 is an imaginary number called a. And the square root of 9, u squared is 3u. So now we get a is smaller than 3u. All that there is left to do is to rotate the less than sign and the 3 by 9 degrees, which gives us high <laughs> <laughs>